Hey, Tony, how you hey. doing? Hey, Frankie, how's it going? Good. Can we sit over there? Of course. Right. Things seem a little quiet in here. Excuse me. Mm -hmm. You should have been here a few minutes ago. Oh, yeah? Mm -hmm. I guess we missed all the excitement, huh? I think so. Well, we deserve a quiet evening after the day we had today. Yeah. It's a tough day, all right. You still thinking about that girl that called Hotline? Emily? Mm -hmm. At least that's what she called herself. Well, it's probably a fake name. Most of those kids who call don't want anyone to know who they really are. Yeah. You know, I just wish I knew who she was. She just seems so sad and lonely. Well, I know how you feel. Sometimes it's really hard not to have them affect you, you know? I guess you have to keep reminding yourself that you're actually helping them. Yeah, I guess we are. You know, I remember when, uh, when Max and I were living on the streets. We met a lot of kids with a lot of problems. I wish I knew where there was a hotline back then. Sure would have made life a lot easier, let me tell you. That's sad. Most of those kids are so lonely and confused. That's why the hotline is so important. So we help them sort things out. Sometimes when they call, all they want is just somebody to listen to them. You're amazing. You're so dedicated to this hotline. You're there morning, noon, and night. I mean, what does your husband think about all this? My husband is dead. I'm, I'm sorry. I, I didn't know. No, it's, it's okay. It's okay. You, you never said anything before. I know. You had no way of knowing. Listen, maybe one of these days I'll tell you about it. You don't have to. I know, but I'd really like to. Thanks for giving me the job at the hospital. Thanks for waiting for me to get off my shift. I'm starving. I know that we were already here once today, but I didn't get to finish my lunch. Well, let's finish it now.